Well, we'll just look at a level response six mark question walkthrough dealing with organic liquid purification techniques and a percentage yield calculation. This is our question. I'm going to start by taking you through um, how we might want to process it. Okay, so looking at the question, um, I'm going to color code the two different tasks that you have to do. And uh, they are explain how to obtain a pure sample and calculate expected mass given a percentage yield. So as I take you through the different parts of the question, each part that I explain will be either blue, which is to do with explaining how to obtain a pure sample, or it'll be purple, which is to do with how to calculate the expected mass given a percentage yield. So let's go through the first task, which is to explain how to obtain a pure sample. So you're given two densities. So the bigger density, the higher density, is concentrated HCl. So that means that that will be one off that will separate it from because it will be the bottom layer. So we keep the top layer and then we purify it. It also mentions that 2 chloro 2 methyl propane is an organic liquid with a boiling point of 50 degrees C. So that would be the temperature to distill the product off at once you've done the purification using the separating funnel and the drying agent. So it tells you the quantity of CH33COH. This is obviously going to allow us to calculate the initial moles of that compound at the start. And then it says that CH33Cl can be CCL, so it can be prepared by reacting the 2 methyl propane 2 alk to a CH33COH with concentrated hydrochloric acid. So if you look closely at the two organic formulae that are used in the highlighter even further, you've got a Cl and you've got an OH. So what's happened is the Cl has been substituted in a one-to-one -one ratio, so therefore there must be a one-to-one -one mole ratio in the balanced equation. And then finally it says after purification, the percentage yield of CH33 CCL is 76%. So you have to calculate the expected moles of that compound and from that it's masked using this percentage yield. So having thought through that, let's see how we can construct the answer. So like we said before, the answer has to be built up in two strands. One to obtain a pure dry sample, the other one to calculate the expected mass of pure CH33 CL. Sorry, CH33 CCL. So, with the pure dry sample, the first thing to do is to run off the lower HCL layer using a separating funnel from the mixture. And then you decant the organic top layer into a container and add solid anhydrous CCL2 as a drying agent until the powder dispersant indicating where the water has gone. So you don't have to use calcium chloride, you could use other anhydrous group 2 salts, such as MgSO4, and they're just as effective. Finally, you distill and collect the purified product at 50 degrees C. So first of all, calculating the expected mass, we work out the initial moles of 2 methyl propane 2 ol by taking the number of grams we provide with and dividing it by the net mass, which is 0.1, 0.4, 0.5. And notice I've put a dot, 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 dot here. That means I'm using a calculated value, obtaining that throughout until the very end. Like we said before, the Cl in CH33CCL has been substituted in that OH. And a one to one ratio, so therefore it must be a one to one ratio in the balanced equation. So we can assume that the expected number of moles, assuming it's 100%, uh, the yield is going to be more than 1 mole for the methyl moles also. Now, obviously it's not 100% here, it's 76%. So what I do is I take that value and I multiply it by 76 over 100, taking out the 76% percentage yield. And that gives me 0.079 take mass, which I then multiply by 92.5 grams per mole, which is the molar mass of my CH3ACCL, to give me 7.35 grams. Okay. This has been a useful look at a challenging example. Until next time, thanks for listening, and see you soon.